lawmakers stage walkout over Electoral Act Amendment Bill. So lawmakers from the opposition PDP, um, People's Democratic Party, have staged a walkout over Clause 52 of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. They insist the clause was never carried. Okay. So, I mean, I think, okay, fine. I think what even comes to mind, especially with the tension, with, you know, protesting and all that right now, is that so you lawmakers can have a right to walk out because them, them walking out is a statement. Them walking out is a statement and in a way a protest because they do not agree with the change in the um, electoral um, electoral act amendment bill, clause 52. I don't know what that is, but it's probably... <laughs> It's probably maybe affecting their chances in 2023, seeing as in APC has stationed its key people that can turn around the elections in 2023 and seeing that they've literally, you know, guarded themselves. And to think, because again, with, you know, with PDP and APC, they're not really out here for justice and, or, you know, democracy and all that. Really, really, actually, they want to catch up with each other. Why? Because... PDP has been in government for a very, very, very long time. And APC's first time in government was basically through Buhari. Um, and then some youth in the north, and some with their form, are of the opinion that Buhari has four more years to go because um wait, because uh with the southerners have had 14 years in power, and then with Jared one of finishing his term, and then with Buhari just having eight years, I think it's ten years. So the extra four years is you know um is is justified on the grounds of equality so that the north can also have an extra four years. So then the if the southerners have been in government for 14 years, and the same thing with the northerners. Not going to lie, that does not make sense at all, but that kind of mentality and you have if you have people with that kind of mentality in government of course they'd be you know annoyed with any change to the electoral amendment um bill so to give more detail and clarity on what happened so the bill much anticipated seeks to repeal and reenact the 2010 electoral act as well as resolve issues concerning INEX introduction of modern technologies into electoral processes particularly accreditation of voters electronic voting and electronic transmission of results from polling units ah the Bukala Saraki led eight assembly passed the bill three times but president buhari rejected it all these times so is this wow you see how we have backwards so basically this is basically what they walked out for this is what they did not agree with and they walked out you actually walked out like i'm so sorry even that's like that's like you know isn't it unprofessional like how i say it it's not a, a appropriate for your standing in society you're standing in government you're meant to actually tackle the issues not run away from the issues um of course, everyone's going to argue from you know, the angle of, you know what, why are you, okay, so if you can protest, why are you not getting, you know, harassed for giving out your opinion and all that? However, what we want to focus on is like, why is PDP, the opposition party, <laughs> why are they now getting pressed about it? Isn't it how they've won? I mean, basically, they don't want it because, again, when we have electronic voting and all that, and basically changes to the IMEX process and adding modern technology as we should um so they're against that why should they be against that because they know that in the past times they have won we don't know how can they justify it we don't know but they have won but then that was when this was not in existence when there, there wasn't an introduction of modern technology into the electoral process especially when it comes to you know e-voting and you know um internet related you know ways to make voting a, a bit more efficient so this is literally what they're walking away from I mean, this is how we know that we don't have people that have our backs in government because they really do not care. They really don't. And it's very, very sad. It is so sad because this is what they're resistant to. Like, are they actually joking? Wow. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Somebody else says, when prophets permit at your daily set, Nubu is part of the problems in Nigeria that Nigeria is having. And if he becomes president, this country will be a great disaster to Nigerians. From his wife's stand on e-transmission, we can now stand to envisage what the future holds for us if this selfish personality becomes our president. Okay. Um I don't know how this relates. 
I'm not going to lie. No disrespect to primates. I really, I know that. I mean, let's talk about prophecies, okay? Like, okay, you go question for yourself if you're a Christian. If these prophecies are true. Um, I don't know how this relates to Tinibu, but okay. Um, if you can share this release, please put it in the comment section below. Somebody here says, PDP are afraid because the method they wanted... <laughs> To use and rig election in 2023 has been discovered by the ruling party. And so they walked out like children. It is very sad. It is very childlike. You don't like something, you, you squeeze your face, you have an attitude and you walk out. Huh? You walk out? <clears throat> APC know that they have failed. That's the reason why they're looking for ways to rig the coming election. It will never go well for them. Would you say that though? I think they're like, I think they've managed and they've you know for some reason they've sort of been well positioned you know they've been well positioned especially with you know chief of army stuff and all that i mean especially with the right on chief's position i think that was like that is the main thing that has riled everybody up and everyone is like we are not going like we know google <laughs> because <laughs> basically her position right there just gives it away that you know apc will just win are we still so backward or poor not to install electronic voting system at the National Assembly and relying on voice votes? Imagine. Oh my days. Oh my days. But these ones want to do, in, they want to do, uh, you know, uh, they say our uh, intelligence reports, you know, uh, in international collaborative efforts of Nigerian security forces. They literally do the most to even risk breaking international law to abduct an Americano. And they'll use the, the innovation that they can get. But then, ordinary like it doesn't even cost much because we know they have the resources they do have the resources they know what to do to make the country better they just choose not to do it sad isn't it very very sad and it's just like come on now come on now so so bad um someone here says good one when a meeting is held after the closing they all hold hands and laugh together because they knew the truth was not said but if they quarrel you know the truth was said thumbs up absolutely absolutely 100 percent. because i'm like how can you be against e-voting how can you be against you know just refining and reforming inex methods because i like itself we don't even trust it they don't even trust any politician at this point but it's just like i like they're meant to be an independent body and then you have compromised people who have been part of parties who have been involved in politics since they were children engaging and it's just like um excuse me how you know it, it 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 doesn't make any sense at all it does not make any sense put what you think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe